friends, Diana here from Enchanted Nook by Diana. Thank you for joining me for my first ever DIY tutorial. Today I'm taking basic white paper and plastic dollhouse accessories and turning them into magical fairy accessories. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and please leave a comment if you have a special request for a DIY. Let's get started. I love details and will create three layers of textures. For the first, I'm going to start with the base piece and add gold leaf. And then once the gold leaf is applied, I'm going to create a second layer with fairy dust and a third with whimsical fairy details. It's very important to me that I use quality products on all of my projects. So today I'm working with Createology Gold Leaf for Gold Flakes as well as Createology Glitters. I'm also using a plaid brand water-based Mod Podge in a matte finish and I have an assortment of brushes. I'm also using these Sharpie water-based paint markers which are acrylic paint in a marker form. Please note I am not endorsed or sponsored by these brands in any way. These are just my preferred choices. I am creating the first layer of texture for this project using gold leaf. I'm using a firm angled brush to apply a thin layer of water-based Mod Podge to the front of the plates. I also have a second brush on hand which also has firm bristles but the head of this brush is very plush so it allows me to pick up the gold leaf and press it into the front of the plates. Throughout the tutorial you're going to see I'm going to switch between using the brushes and using my fingers to apply the gold leaf. Basically the key here is to alternate between layers of glue and gold leaf until you have the effect that you would like. I'm satisfied with the texture on these first few pieces so I'm going to set them aside and let them dry. While the plates are drying, I'm going to switch over and work with a few other pieces that are ready for the second layer of texture, which is applying our glitter. So I had already applied gold leaf to these pieces um, previously and they've had the opportunity to dry. I'm going to begin by adding another layer of water-based Mod Podge. Again, this layer is going to be quite thin. It's going to serve two purposes. One is to protect the gold leaf and the second is to act as a glue to apply the glitter. You might notice I'm using a tapping motion to apply the Mod Podge this time instead of using brush strokes. This helps to press in any pieces that might have been loose or sticking up. If you work a lot with glitter like I do, you'll know that it gets very messy. So I'm just going to place a little bowl on the table underneath the piece that I'm working with. I'm going to open my glitter jar to the smallest setting. And then I'm just going to shake a very light dusting over the top of the piece that I'm working with and let any residual glitter um, fall into the bowl below. I think it just looks so cute and sparkly and pretty. I love it already. What do you think? Do you like it? I do. And just like the plates, I'm going to set that piece aside to dry as I get to work on the remaining pieces in this little set. I love working with glitter. How about you? Now my last piece is this teeny tiny mug and this is where my shallow bowl is going to come in very handy. So. After I apply the water waste Mod Podge, I'm going to use my brush again to pick up the glitter just like I did earlier with the gold leaf. And it just makes it so much easier when it's in a nice smooth bowl to pick up those pieces and, and use those pieces of glitter. Effortless. It's so cute. And now that I'm all done, my bowl serves another purpose, which is easily transferring the glitter back into the glitter jar to use again. At this point, I also take the opportunity to wash my brushes as the water-based Mod Podge will make them dry very hard and be unusable in the future. I've also put my excess glitter back into my jar and now I can allow these little teeny tiny pieces to air dry or I can speed up the process by using a hair dryer. While these are drying, hi! 
So while these pieces were drying, the plates that I previously added the gold leaf to were dry enough that I could go ahead and add the glitter details to those as well. Everything is ready for the last layer of textures, which is the whimsical fairy details. First, I'm working with a super soft brush. I'm going to just very lightly dust each piece and any loose glitter or gold leaf is just going to simply come off. Next, I'm going to use that same soft brush. I'm going to apply a very small layer of the water-based Mod Podge and I'm going to use the same sort of tapping technique that I used previously to fully seal all of the gold leaf and all of the glitter on every single piece. Speeding up this segment of the video because it's going to take a little while. And I'm speeding up the drying process here as well by using hair dryer. Oops, sometimes pieces fly away just like the fairies. Now that all of my little pieces are dry, I'm moving on to what is the funnest part of the project for me. I'm going to begin to add some very fine details using my Sharpie water base paint acrylic marker in gold. And mine has a fine point tip, so it's wonderful for any sort of edging work. I use these markers not just for my miniature um, accessories like you see here, but I also use them for a lot of paper crafts like card making and adding details to envelopes. And I'm going to do this very, very quickly and go over each piece a few times. Ta -da! I'm adding just one more layer of sparkle by using my acrylic marker with a glitter finish. This one has a broader tip than the first. The first is for vibrancy and saturation, and the second marker is really for pop and sparkle. I don't know if it's really going to pick up well on video, but um, I can really see it shimmering in the light. I tend to do two to three passovers with each marker. Again, I'm doing this on every piece. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these plates yet, so I'm just going to tuck them away in a little envelope to protect them until I know what to do with them at a later time. But I have big plans for these pieces, which I'm going to use in this box set. So I'm going to add a few details that match the other items in this set. I have a gorgeous collection of precious stones and gemstones, and I'm going to be using these delicate little pearls in this little dish to look like little soaps and spa products. To do that I'm going to use my glue gun which has had some time to heat up. I'm going to add a very generous glob of glue right in the center of the dish and then I'm just going to drop my little pearls inside. This is what it looks like. Again, I think it's so super cute. And I'm adding moss and paper flowers to this piece. I'm adding just a few little dabs of glue with my hot glue gun to this piece. The moss is so delicate, it, you really just don't need a lot of glue at all. And then I'm just going to lightly tap my moss into place and break off any excess from the stem. The rose that I'm using has a wire stem which makes it very convenient for just winding around the handle. And because the stem is so thin, I'm just using stainless steel scissors to cut off the excess. And I have these miniature jewelry making pliers um, to flatten out any sharp ends and tuck it in. Um, so safety first, always, always, always. I added one more paper flower as well as a few little bits of moss using my hot glue gun and this is the end result. Eventually I will secure this fairy miniature here on the stump next to the fairy wings and it will be included as part of a fairy box set which I will be selling in my Etsy shop. 
In my next tutorial, I'll be working further on pieces that will be included in this fairy box kit. So I'm going to be adding some uh, detailing and whimsical details to this um, cabinet, which I already painted, and I'm going to start to fill it with whimsical little treasures. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!